JBN, we keep you informed. Maypen Cop, Shot in Robbery, speaks. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. One of the cops injured in Sunday's daring daylight robbery in Maypen Clarendon has recounted the horrifying events in which he nearly lost his life. Sergeant David Craddock, who was shot in the abdomen and leg, said that he would not have survived without the help of his colleagues. Me tell my colleagues them for go and leave me, but them said I'm not leaving, he said, sharing that he was with two other policemen when the shooting began. It is reported that minutes after 9 a.m., two vehicles carrying several gunmen were seen at a supermarket in Guinea Tree along Main Street, Maypen. The robbers were surprised by the police and opened fire at them. Two cops, including the sergeant, were shot and injured. A white Toyota Pro Box motor car that was being driven by the gunmen crashed along Howard Avenue in the town after another cop challenged them as they sought to escape. Craddock estimated that he was on the ground for between 15 and 20 minutes waiting for help. Another policeman brave it no one turn on the M16, he said, as he related how his colleagues sought to repel the gunmen in order to save him. And well, he shot them a fire, you know. Mr. The man them brave it and hold me and draw me behind the wall, said the 17-year veteran of the force. He continued, me never experienced anything like this in all me years as a police. It was very terrible. I did not know I would live, to be honest. My colleagues, them never leave me in spite of what happened. Them said they would die with me. Today, the cop is counting his blessings, and he is grateful that none of his organs have been damaged. He said that the bullet entered his abdomen and exited through his back. However, he said that he almost lost one of his legs after he was hit by a bullet from a high-powered weapon. The foot was dangling. It almost come off, he said. Meanwhile, members of the Chinese business community said they are terrified of what they described as a targeted attack on their businesses by criminals. One operator in Crossroads said when he saw the video, it was like a movie. It made me feel so frustrated and angry. The government claims said them are the crime fighting and look how much high-powered weapon upon the streets, he said. He said that he has been operating his business for 11 years and has had numerous robbery attempts. The place just and safe for us business people. Once them see your business are the good. We feel targeted. As them look upon Chinese, them feel the Chinese have money. So them just target Chinese and a whole. Not send them now go after other business people, but them target Chinese, he said. Another Chinese business operator in St. Catherine, who has been operating a haberdashery for five years, said that he was robbed at gunpoint in 2017. Them act like customers and wait outside in the morning. After we get inside, them held us at gunpoint and closed the door and started the robbery, he said. He said that the country must also be mindful that these robberies also affect Jamaicans. When the robbers them get into this business place, them don't just have the Chinese owner or the operator, but them have all the customers and staff. This not only affects the business, it affects the economy and investments, he said. A Chinese wholesaler owner in Manchester, who said she has been robbed on two occasions, said the Chinese business community is trying to raise funds to support the cops who got injured in the Maypen robbery. We know the police them get hurt during the shooting situation. So we are collecting some money, we are getting donations. So far, we have collected between 400,000 and 500,000. We are supporting the people who try to protect us, she said. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.